Uh, we here in uh, Pain Plaza in the city of Philadelphia because we have a situation with the Puerto Ricans Eva Quiz came to the city of Philadelphia to get help from FEMA and these individuals are going to be displaced from the hotels by the Valentine's Day which is the 14th on Wednesday because the vouchers hasn't been extended and they're not planning to extend it. So we're talking about more than 1,000 families or individuals are gonna be displaced in the cities. They're gonna become homeless, even though they do not know the language, the city, where the resources are, where to get them. Some of these individuals came here to work. They are professionals, but nobody has guided them in the city of Philadelphia to get the resources they need and the places they get to apply in their own language. So we have in a situation, we have children are gonna be stranded with no services because because they're gonna be displaced out of the hotels because FEMA is not planning to extend the vouchers. Not meaning that we are US American citizens, we are not second class citizens, everybody has the same equal opportunities. We're talking about refugees, we're talking about people from any other country who comes over here. This is how, who we are, different people. We didn't know each other before, now we know each other. So, who here is facing eviction? Could we talk she to is them? facing eviction with three children. She's already been displaced with three children. She's, not, she's facing eviction or she's been evicted? She's been evicted. Carlos is facing eviction. Okay. He's Could facing. you tell us your story then? I mean, where, what, what's your situation right now? And he doesn't speak English. Does someone he translate? He has a minor, 16 years old. He came from the island of Puerto Rico. He's in school. The school was closed and destroyed. That's why he's here in the school. And they're going to be displaced on February 14th. Where are we going to leave at? We ask him for help. Why did he pick Philadelphia? Why, why is he in Philadelphia? As versus Atlanta or Miami? Or? He picked Philadelphia. They gave him different choices, but he decided Philadelphia. He wanted to be here, and that was an opportunity, and he took the opportunity to be here. But why here and not Atlanta or not Miami or not Houston? Where there's a I can answer you that question. I was doing humanitarian flights in eight out of the island of Puerto Rico. I worked in Puerto Rico for three months, okay. helping the families. And they give you different options to come to the mainland. So Florida is one of them, New York is one of them, Boston is one of them, Philadelphia is one of them. Unidos PAPR is supposed to be helping them here, which is Maria Quinones Sanchez group. And they were supposed to do what we're doing right now, advocate for these individuals, and that never happened. Okay, so Councilwoman Sanchez is not coming home? No, she's not, and I wish she was here. She can listen to us. She can do more because she works right here and she has a voice. And have you approached the Kenny administration? I mean, who did you talk to there and, and what have they told you? Sure, I work with Mayor Kenny's uh, group in the island of Puerto Rico, helping the uh, citizens on behalf of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, we talk about this situation. We're supposed to have a group here. It was Unido PAPR, APM, and Concilio working together to help these individuals get the services once they land to the city of Philadelphia. Right. But they only received a voucher from FEMA DSA, and that was it. Nobody followed up with them. But I mean, since then, I mean, for, I mean the last 10 days or so, have you, have you been in contact with some yes. of the mayor's office? Who? Yes, uh, he went to Emilio Basco's office and speak to him in Spanish to help, help to seek for help. Um, we went there a couple of times, and we talked to the administration, and they kind of hear what we have to say, but that was it. We haven't really hear our responses back, what is the next plan? But what we know, this family is going to be displaced on the 14th. And this is the gentleman that's at the Windsor Suites right now? That's correct. He's like, this is the, the real impact that's this going to have on people coming to Philadelphia from Puerto Rico? Like, is there any other options? Like, what can we do to... Well, we do have different options. The problem is the government is not extending the options. So right now, uh, we are planning to have, they think is around 1,000 families plus. Uh, around Philadelphia and a little towns around the city of Philadelphia. So we're here to advocate for these individuals. We are asking just for different resources that different government uh, offices has and non-profit and profit organization has. They supposed to come up together and help these individuals, but not have it. nobody hasn't come and step up for them. That's why we're here to hear our voices and their voices and advocate for them to get the help they need instead of throwing them out in the street by the 14th with no FEMA voucher extension, which is not fair.
Um, do you have any um, housing resources or anybody that's willing to step up, like um, sanctuary, um, the sanctuary movement, how they was helping families? Do you have those type of resources? Yeah, we are in conversation with them. The problem was the sanctuary is for uh, it's for everybody, but the problem is these individuals came over here with a voucher, which is TSA, from the federal government, which is a little bit more different when you come as a refugee. They come over here with a program from the federal government, and the federal government is just saying, we're gonna close the, the, the services, the program, we're gonna just not extend the voucher, and it's nothing that we can do. We're gonna close the case, and that's it. That's why we're here, other organizations are gonna be here, they're advocating for these individuals together, like that they don't become homeless, and they help us get the resources these individuals need, that, that we can help them don't become homeless in the city of Philadelphia. So this sounds like a human rights Correct. Um, issue and concern. Um, and it's, it's inhumane. It's right, inhumane. Right, and it's a real crisis. It's correct. Is there any type of crisis intervention? Is there anything like... From our behalf, uh, Bosses del Barrio and our group, yes, we're helping these individuals. From the government, it's zero conversation. We don't have any resources from them right now. That's what we're here for. We're fighting for them. We're fighting for any refugee, anybody who doesn't have a voice or, don't, or they, don't, they don't understand what is the city, Philadelphia, and the resources they have. We're going to help them navigate the system, understand the system. When you come from another place and from another country and you have different language, you don't understand. They have to be guided. They have to, we have to help them. But if nobody's doing it and the solution is throw them out in the street, that's just inhumane. That's not fair. That's not right. That's a violation of the civil rights in the city and anywhere you go. So can we reach out to like Red Cross or somebody? Can they do some like emergency type of thing? Like That's what we're here for. To see that we can uh, fight and have an extension from the federal government FEMA with the TSA program and we can have a little bit more time to help these individuals get them um, in the housing program or we can get them into the sanctuary, different places they have for them to live, help them uh, do the resume, uh, seek for jobs. Um, some of these individuals doesn't come over here to live from the government. This is this is what people have wrong. They think they come over here as the ever place and they're gonna live from the government. They are professionals. They're looking for jobs to make income and independent self and work hard to start a new life. But the problem is nobody's helping them. This is a new city, this is a new language, this is a new new place for them, and nobody is guiding them. That's not fair. That's why we have resources in the city. Why not using them to help these individuals? We have right. to stand up and have, uh, we have to advocate for anybody who needs our help. That's right. Thank you so much. I just have one more question. Um, you said they came in as TSA instead of as refugees. Is there any way to change that status to refugees from the TSA? TSA is a federal uh, help, a voucher from FEMA. Um, I'm not sure because it's because they come over here because Puerto Rico went through a disaster, which was Huracan Irma and Maria. Uh, that's exactly what we want, the answers from them, which they haven't answered us yet. So that is what we hear. We're asking questions and we wish to be We just need uh, our Mayor Kenny to petition uh, Governor Wolf to uh, ask that FEMA um, and, and the federal government declares uh, Philadelphia a whole city or even just Pennsylvania a whole state. So we're asking for Mayor Kenny to do this so there could be federal funding set aside for housing. The housing is here in Philadelphia. They need to have it money in order to get the housing, get medical assistance, to get um, especially mental health assistance. You know, that's very, they went through a traumatic experience in the island and they're going, we're making them relive this again by kicking them out into the street. Different mentalities, it seems hard. It seems it seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a challenge. Um, 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 so so I'm ready. For I'm ready for this challenge. And I was built and I was built for this. I think that I think we all have we all have a purpose in life. And mine and mine is going to take on a task that most that most of back away.